Oh yeah. Perfect. That's some good stuff. We're ready to do a project. Let's hit the bench. Dude, you are awesome. I know. Okay guys, before I forget, the background music is, that's right, do rag, what we do. You know Bob Log was a guitarist, Thermos Mauling or Brad Dunbauer was the, I want to make sure I get everything important in here, there we go, was the drummer per se of that group and we know the Bob as well. We know Bob, right? Anyway, I got this guitar wrapping up, but ready to ship off out to New Orleans this week. But there's something missing in this picture. You guessed it. The world's smallest blower. That's right, we gotta keep this area clean. Look at look at the raw power of the world's smallest blower. I swear this is a NASA product. Raw power. No, what we are missing here is we are missing the floating bridge. So this episode is about how to put a floating bridge onto a license plate. Now, we've done this before. You've seen it before, but for the new uh, subscribers and people that don't want to watch through all the long movie to just find out what's going on here. Um, I did an episode called floating bridge and we'll give you i card up there right about now i also did one called scale and intonation which is really important because the placement of your bridge in relation to the knot up here let's move this camera up here you see i've cut this off to 25 and a half it's a it's a very expensive ruler because it's from beverly hills 90210 so this is yardstick 90210 whatever happened in people anyway the nut is right up here. We measure scale from this side of the nut, not this side of the nut, but the side closest to the bridge. And we lay this out here, and we have an election pencil, and we just make a mark right there. That needs to be right there. It can't be over here or over here because it throws off all your fretting and intonation and all that kind of thing. Yeah, I realized that you couldn't see this part down here, so we took our extra special... Um, Yardstick made a mark like that. That mark is right there. Found the center of our license plate with our trusty metric ruler. Uh, made a mark where the center of the plate is. So we know where the line is. This is 25 and a half scale. Everything will line up. Again, there's an episode up there. Click the I cards, scale and intonation. Now, these bridges got a lot of scrap apparatus around here. They come like this. I'll give you a link if you need one this part here comes off of here like this okay and these posts here which we're going to need come out of there using an allen wrench like this and just back them out like this we're going to back those two out um, you don't want to strip these out because i've tried to source these by themselves and I can't find a good supplier outside of a luthier shop and they're pretty expensive there but if I could source these the rest of this I could make myself so we've got these two here and we're ready now I want you to remember that we're gonna put holes out in here which would focus all the weight of this with this gone we can't use this because it puts everything way up too high um, but with all the weight sitting here it would, and you put the post in, it would focus all the weight right there, and we don't want that. But remember, we've got a neck running right underneath here, and that's going to help support this. Okay? So, I have made a little mark here on the center of this right here. I know where the center of my plate is, and I'm just going to line. I've made that center mark there where I can see it right there. And I'm just going to put, put this here, and I'm going to take my awl. And tap a hole right here or, or a mark like so and then I'm gonna drill that notice I didn't put the one over here we're gonna get one of these in first and then put the other one in that way it's ultimately straight remember you don't want it tilted like this or like this just like so now we're gonna to want to take a, a a drill bit that's about the same size you don't want it bigger but about the same size because once we drill uh, the holes in there will be two holes um, this end is pointed and we actually want to thread this 
through the license plate. So again, drill bit just about the same size as uh, the post. All right, I took the drill and went through uh, down a little bit where I made my all marks. Now I'm just going to run this through. One. Two. Now I want to go to the back of this thing. I'm not going to waste a bunch of time doing this. But when you go through this way, there's going to be some shards at the other side of the hole. You don't want them. But now it's time to just screw this in. If it's a little bit small or tight, you can take your awl and you can wiggle this around a little bit until this will thread down in there tightly. Now you can tell when you got the right match here for the hole. When you've taken your awl and wiggled it a little bit, again, you don't want to do too much at once, do a little bit of time. Because when you set that post on there, you will literally have to screw it in like this. It will thread in. It'll be fairly tight. Okay, make sure you don't strip those out. Okay, I'm running the second one down. There we go. Nice and solid. If I take my... This part... Put it on there, slips right down, there we go. Um, before I do that, I want to tell you something about this. You want to remember that as you adjust these and as time goes by and whatever, if these start wiggling back and forth, your bridge is going to start pitching one way or another. When a bridge pitches this way, guess what? This is closer to the strings if it or the bridge or the nut. If it pitches this way, it's further away. That's going to change your intonation. You don't want that. You want a dependable instrument, and one that's not going to get loose. Once it gets loose, and the artist thinks it's funny, sounds funny, you're done. And the goal of my work is, I build instruments for artists. That's what what we do. That's what we do here. Anyway, so. Those are just sticking through and th kind of half threaded by one thread into the slices plate. So I want to show you a little trick here. Underneath on the bottom end where all the electronics and stuff is, this is what it looks like. you got the license plate thickness holding it here. So if you take a washer like so and you take a nylon insert nut, they call these aviation nuts sometimes, but they got that in there so it won't loosen itself off. Mysteriously, these fit right here like that. Last thing you're going to do is you're going to take a nut driver that fits this like so, come in off the bottom and use your Allen wrench as a backup. All right, I've saved some time here instead of trying to go from the back and fight everything because there's electronics and stuff in here. Don't look at my uh, lame soldering job, but I got my nut driver. I've got my Allen key. I just put that there like that. And back this up and you can see that I've put the nylon insert nut and the washer just like so on this one and then I just tighten it up a little bit now I could be fancy and put a little JB weld or epoxy right there and tighten everything up but it's just pretty simple you hold that on with a washer again you want to make sure that there's no slag coming off that where you drilled through the plate so having to level back this up and just snug that up and those will never go anywhere believe me get this pickup out of the way here um, this thing's getting pretty close now so it's just that simple you end up with this, and it's adjustable up and down. Raise or lower your action. Pull this off, whatever you want to do. All right, it's just that simple. They're in. This is up. These screw up and down. You can give yourself some height. Drop that on. And we are ready to start stringing this up once I get my uh, top back on. We'll string this up and get the strings adjusted and and this notched and filed and this thing will be ready to go in the mail. Alright guys, there you go. That's pretty easy. Now you got a, 
a floating bridge on top of your license plate, kind of like you got the floating bridge on this old arch top that's signed by Bob Log the Third. I don't know what keeps making Bob Log the Third come into my brain. Maybe it's the fact that I got a personal guitar lesson from Bob Log the Third. Yeah, Bob Log the Third is actually giving personal guitar lessons, virtual personal guitar lesson so you want one well let's figure out what we do is this thing working i'm going to teach you to play cold motor okay the first thing you need is a guitar so it's just a big giant. So this is a really old song. The whole thing is just pinching with the thumb and the first finger. Mm -hmm. 